Hi, Dr. Tony Mork, endoscopic spinal surgeon here. Well, in this discussion about annular tears, uh, I've given you a little bit of information in text. Uh, it was followed by a little video about showing what an annular tear looks like, uh, both kind of conceptually on a picture and looking at a CT discogram to see the dye leaking out. Well, I wanted to give a just a clinical presentation of someone who had an annular tear, and this is a 30-something-year-old woman who had a motor vehicle accident two years ago in which she was rear-ended and had subsequent back pain that was unremitting in spite of treatment by physical therapy, chiropractic, uh, and uh, some other pain relieving modalities, none of which really worked. Her back pain was such that it was very aggravating when she was sitting during the course of her workday and she was unable to sit for more than maybe 20 to 30 minutes at a time before she had to get up. Eventually, after a couple of years, this is uh, uh, interfering with her job and uh, possibly with her continued employment. I saw her and she had this uh, MRI scan as I'm going to show you behind me. We can see that she has really normal appearing discs in most of the lumbar spine. She does have some discoloration and protrusion here at 4 or 5 and some narrowing here at 5S1. The axial slices uh, show a disc protrusion here centrally uh, to correspond with the L4-5 disc protrusion that we looked at on the other picture. Since her complaints were strictly low back pain, axial low back pain without any radicular complaints, I felt that she might be best evaluated with a CT discogram in which I will show you the pictures and show you where the dye was actually leaking out. The arrows note where the dye is leaking out and confirming an annular tear. As I said, treatment of annular tear is controversial. I think the less the better. I'm not even sure an endoscopic discectomy would have been uh, uh, appropriate for her. So therefore, I used a trimodyne uh, laser, uh, a 1.6 millimeter side cutting tip, and used the laser on her. And here is a testimonial of her uh, about two months after the surgery. I first came to see Dr. Mork after being in back pain for about two years. Um, I was in a car accident where I was stopped at a light and a lady hit me going about 40 miles an hour. Um, so I came to him for annular tears in my low back, which he um, operated on by laser. I'm five weeks post op today and in pretty much pain free, no issues, and um, whereas before I was in a lot of pain. Um, my pain used to be at about level seven or eight, um, sitting hurt, walking sometimes hurt, it just kind of depend on what I was doing. Um, but now I can do all those activities pain-free in five weeks after having surgery. I had no knowledge of what annual tears were or what was even really wrong with me up until I came here. As you can see from this testimonial, this gal who had a laser surgery of 1.6 millimeter side cutting laser tip only was able to be completely recovered and sitting in her normal position at work with minimal pain or discomfort within a couple of months of her surgery. This is, of course, a success story, but demonstrates the possibilities of solving the pain from annular tears with minimal type of surgery, such as I've demonstrated here. I think annular tear treatment is controversial, but I think the laser uh, used in such a fashion offers a distinct possibility of treating this type of problem. Hey, thanks a lot for watching. If you've got any further questions, please contact me at the office or look at www.drtonymark.com. Take care.